Hey, I'm Decathlon Gamer, and this is the Road to the Record, where I work to achieve mastery of 10 games in a hunt for the best score of the Decathlon. If you like what you see, remember to hit that like button. If you want to see more, hit subscribe. Let the games begin. This is Pro Cycling Manager 2018. I'm still in week 45 of the competition. This is a bonus episode. Episode number two in this new career mode series where I'm managing a full team starting down in Continental with all the basics. The best rider I have on the entire team, the average is 66 for this first season, and we'll try to grow from there. Our team is sponsored by Nike. Our balance is growing thanks to some results. But we'll see how it goes after that first month. So we have to pay some wages. So this is going to be one of those key moments for the team to see kind of just how we're doing when it comes to that sponsorship. Actually, it looks like we're in pretty good shape on the finances. So our money went up. So the writer salaries and staff salaries combined for 46000 a month. But our monthly investment from the sponsor is 48000 uh, So just about even. Our winnings will help that balance increase over the course of the season. And that staff, staff salary is going to be a good way uh, to improve things as we go on. So that that's actually, that's really good. So we came out, we're not losing money. I can see the income over that one month. The projected increase is rather small till the end of the season. Uh, but with the results, I think we'll pull in some decent money as the year goes on. Because as we saw in the first couple races, if you watched episode one, if you haven't, make sure you go back and check that out. That uh, from those results, I'm not really competing for wins when there's good riders around, uh, like mid seventies for average. I don't stand a chance. But in sprint stages, I've got enough of a team of sprinters, even though they're weak. Uh, that through a good sprint train, I can get a lot of top fives and pick up some points, pick up some money that way. All right, so close monitoring. Let's see. Must confirm your choices for the close monitoring of one or more young riders. Well, let's go ahead and head to youth development and see what we have. Uh, we have management of a development team. Uh, it's not strong. Seven. Oh, okay. Seven is world class. Oh, that's our. S well, let's see. There are some choices now, and there are some better ones. Nice. So the automatic quick evaluation of some of these guys. There's a sixty, a fifty-eight. There's a 61. Another 58. And a 59. So none of them have great ratings now. Uh, but the quick evaluation shows that they're all going to be between good and world class other than this one. And for that close monitoring, I have three guys. He's 21 already. This guy is already a 60 and just 17 years old. I don't 
know how many do I get close. Uh, oh, there you go. Okay, I get four. Uh, oh, but I can only take the four that I have right now. Yeah, we could watch him. Or maybe I can only take one at a time. He's already 21. And only a 59, so I think I'd rather take one of these two. So a quick look at the team and the scouts report. So Gibbons not looking so good. Granigan also not so good. John Harris no. Looking at their potential mostly. Uh, Brendan Rim maybe. George Simpson, slightly better. Okay, Wachtendorf. So, Wachtendorf, or I'm guessing based on his name, it's probably Wachtendorf, uh, has okay potential. And he is slightly known. So, I'm going to need to get Wachtendorf in uh, a few more races. Over the course of the season. Jonathan Brown. I wonder if he is related to Nathan Brown. Of course, it's not Nathan Brown, so it's Jonathan Brown, 20 year old. He's wearing the. Uh, <laughs> uh, oh, what do you call it? He's wearing the national team jersey, which isn't right he's not uh, <laughs> that's not him uh, let's see Grifton Easter no good Ian Garrison yeah maybe and he's known at district level so is Gibbons let me look through these guys again see if anybody else was okay Jacob Rave is known at district level but none of these guys have super potential which uh, that sucks missed out on that so none of these are going to be long-term keepers uh, it looks like a couple of them are, are going to grow but uh, scouting is going to become really important for us going forward to all. it's going to be a monotonous day when it comes to the terrain but at least the teams with sprinters won't be complaining. And, of course, those opportunists with a bit of daring won't make their life easy. All right, so here we are at that first race uh, for this episode, anyway. And this is a one-off, just a stage racer. Here's that glitch that I was talking about. The wrong Brown is wearing the uh, national team jersey. Uh, pretty sure it's Nathan Brown who uh, claimed that last year. He's making a break for it. Here's Vachtendorf making his right. first appearance for the team. Garrison here on good race day condition. As is Gibbons. Go ahead and get my team set up for the race. Let's see. Brown, not much of a sprinter. Simpson's definitely not. Granigan's okay. Harris is looking good. We'll get uh, Simpson on Harris. Gibbons, that's our strong guy right there. 67 68 on the sprint. 
Garrison's looking pretty good too, as is Vachtendorf. So we've got some potential here, actually. And Granigan, you know what? I think Harris is going to actually get left behind here. It's these bottom three guys, Garrison. got a strong sprinting group here today uh, can put together a pretty good train look the pack has taken its foot off the gas the team leaders can't be too worried about the breakaway all right so looks like we're gonna have a pretty mild stage here we do have uh, this looping climb that we're gonna go over a few times but it's not very steep just right at the top it's a little bit steep So I'll see you towards the end of the stage, maybe before that uh, final climb, because by then it might be going pretty fast. See you in a moment. All right, one climb left to go. The breakaway group just 49 seconds ahead now. Those six riders getting caught. You can see some riders already off the back. And pace has been enough that it's done some damage. And my three guys that are protecting my top sprinters are all suffering and even my sprinters uh, you can see that at an 87 these non climbers are struggling uh, up here to to keep pace with the front riders I don't mind them sliding back a little bit Granigan looks like Granigan's gone Granigan's dropping right off the back so you can see how fast he is uh, falling back as he's gonna get left behind here amazingly the peloton's actually growing at the moment as we're catching some of the uh, breakaway riders but you can see that Granigan's about to get dropped and there you go there's 27 riders off the back now so Granigan he's gonna go on to automatic Brown getting dropped now as well so we'll put him on automatic here goes Simpson also getting dropped and there goes Harris so one of those uh, hopefuls for the sprint train looks like he might get dropped here uh, and Simpson might just hang on. It did all come back together for a moment, but no. Uh, these guys are all dropped. So I've got my three riders left. Uh, Vachtendorf just hanging on now. Peloton's down to 31 riders. There's a single rider left, 37 seconds ahead. These guys are going to recover. Vachtendorf looks like he's going to hang on. And then I've got Garrison and Gibbons. And let's see, Gibbons. Garrison's the weakest of the bunch, but freshest. Uh, I'm going to use him to protect Vachtendorf, who's the strongest. And then hopefully Gibbons can recover a bit here. We are in a little bit of an uphill here. Just a quick false flat. We've got 20k to go. And I've got three guys left here. Hopefully Vachtendorf can recover a bit uh, under the protection of Garrison. That's definitely not the kind of breakaway group, though, that uh, is going to be much help. See everyone else back here is left behind. Looks like th these groups are fighting to get back on, but I don't think that they're going to catch. Uh, and here's Gibbons in a bit of trouble. Why is Gibbons dropping back? Looks like he should be recovering here. The finish line is getting close. The riders have just passed the 15 kilometers road sign. All right, uh, with only three riders, I'm going to wait a little bit. Some others have just come back. There's 55 now. Harris might make it back, and Simpson. But they are two minutes down from the front. You can see they're not that far back. Pace isn't that hot right now. But I don't know what use those guys are going to be by the time we get down to the end. So somewhere around 10K to go. I'm going to set these three up in a small sprint train. With the line reach. There are just Bayless, he's not going left. anywhere. 
Ooh, there's 11 riders getting dropped in between, you can see there. As this group fights, they've come together, all four riders now in the same group here. And they're trying to get on the back. Alright, 7k to go. I'm going to get these three lined up. Garrison feeling good today. Maybe I need to go with him. Gibbons lead the train. Okay, so we're going to take these three. Get them all set to 99. And we're going to follow Garrison and then follow Gibbons. And I'm going to use Gibbons' as gel now. And then we're going to increase the effort and try to push our way towards the front here. Uh, but I don't want to overdo it. Oh, I'm hitting the wrong button here. There we go. Okay, they're lined up. We're already down to 4.5k, so... Gibbons, time to go, buddy. Okay, Gibbons is done. Uh, there goes the sprint. The strong men are giving their Okay, there goes Vachtendorf. Uh, he's done. See, Garrison was stronger. Neither one of them had much left. Uh, we're outside of the top five. Here. Oh, there's Vanderpool again. So Vanderpool doesn't even win. He takes second to a teammate, to Pollock. Uh, Pardini takes third. I get seventh and tenth. So I got two two riders inside the top ten, which is important for me. Gibbons takes 36th. So not bad, 7th and 10th. Uh, we, we definitely struggled compared to some of the other riders. Again, uh, just to 66. Uh, Garrison was feeling good today, and it showed as he was my strongest at the end. He's the one I should have uh, protected and uh, tried to use in the sprint train, even though he wasn't necessarily the strongest sprinter. Uh, but that plus three definitely had him feeling a bit better today, and I should have taken advantage of that. But a 7th and a 10th should be worth uh, some points. It should make the sponsor a little bit happy. Let's see what, what that did for us. Uh, in terms of results, let's go to those standings here. Team, Super Prestige. We were at 25 points. We're at 30 now. So it's only 5 points that we managed to pick up there. Certainly could be worse on that matter. All right. And Antalya is now four days away, and this one is a sponsor objective. So I'll have to see what that objective is before we get into it. But I'll see you at the start of that race. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome. It's going to be a monotonous day when it comes to the terrain, but at least the teams with sprinters won't be complaining. And, of course, those opportunists with a bit of daring won't make their life easy. All right, so this is the tour of Antelia, and... My sponsor objective for this one is to get a stage win, which is going to be really hard for us to achieve. Uh, however, the one thing that I noticed on the list of favorites for the stage, none of them are past 70 uh, on overall average ability. So for that, I'm grateful. That gives me a chance to at least try to get into that top five if not anywhere else. You can see the profile of this stage, there's a bit of climbing to do, but most of that here is in the first third of the stage, and then a lot of downhill towards the end. Uh, should give me a real shot. This is a four stage race with some interesting profiles. 
uh, throughout. Two of them are seen as sprint stages, uh, so I really only have two chances, including today. By the way, this EPM Cano's team here, that black with the green jersey, I love that jersey. I think it's pretty awesome. All right, so I'm going to get my team all set up here, and then uh, I'll see you somewhere around that sprint point uh, as we bring it on home towards the end of this first stage and see if we can't grab a stage win or at least get close to uh, please the sponsor. And right as we're getting to uh, that time to get my team set, the rain begins to fall. That could definitely uh, spice things up a bit here in this stage. And staying to the front is going to be a key. Only 15 kilometers left. All right, so getting down towards the end here, it's time to form my sprint train and give it a go. The four riders from the breakaway are still away by 40 seconds. Peloton's down to 39 riders. Uh, over the flat with not a whole ton of pace things have dropped down you can see that my team's looking pretty strong compared to a lot of the others so there's a lot of weaker riders here for a change and with that let's get the sprint train set up i'm not even sure if i really need the full team for this but i think i'm gonna go all out on this one and really try to attack i think wraith or Actendorf, uh, Wraith is looking a little stronger today, so we're going to put him on the back. And then Vaktendorf will follow Gibbons, who's going to follow Harris, and he's going to follow Warren. And then these two at the front, doesn't matter so much what order, but Anderson's a plus one today, so we'll let him go first. And these guys are both going to use their energy gels right away. And we'll go to a 93 and up the effort cursor and bring them to the front. So Simpson's going to get in that first attack for us. Everybody else is forming on that right side. Let's get him over here. There we go. All right, so 13K to go, and we're definitely upping it. Go to a 97, and there we go to the front. All right, so Simpson's going flat out 99 now. We are closing that gap down with 10K to go. And we are pushing that tempo now, and it is time. Simpson, you're done. Thank you. Job well done. Anderson already, his energy gel ran out. Simpson did a good job uh, with the attack. And here we go. It's Warren's turn. Anderson, time to do your thing. Here goes Warren on the attack. We've caught and passed the breakaway group here with 5K to go. And now things are looking a little bit stronger than they have in the past on timing. As these guys seem to be appropriately set up here. And we are definitely on the front. Let's look. 3K to go. And this is the time to use the gel for these guys. And you can see that... We are being chased, but what do we have? Dare? Oh, that's a decent sprinter right there. Gaff Gafferini. Toto. These guys have a decent lead-out train going. So, uh, looks like I've got about three guys that are definitely in contention. Uh, but, right now, I'm on the front foot with 3K to go. And let's go ahead and stick with Harris as he's going to go into sprint mode now. So sprint. Now your turn, Gibbons. Oh, 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 oh. Things jumped right as I was going. Okay, Wachtendorf, you're going to sprint. Wraith, I'm going to wait just a moment. And there we go. Okay, sprint is on. There you go. Come on, Wachtendorf. Wraith. Wraith. He's coming through. He's going to get second. Second place. Second place. That's not bad. That's not bad at all. 
Toto, yeah, that was the team that I was worried about. That SMV team, they had three strong, or two strong sprinters and a decent lead out. Uh, definitely stronger than what I had. And sure enough, their sprint train got the job done. Wachtendorf also managed to come in sixth with Harris and Gibbons just outside of the top ten. So not a bad result. Uh, sponsor should be relatively pleased with a second place. It's not a stage win, but it's awfully close. A uh, lot of riders do not make it in with the main group, so we'll see if there's a split in the time. Uh, could matter for the overall, though I don't know if I'm going to be in any sort of actual contention for that overall uh, with a couple climbing stages. We could be well out of it. For you. So Wraith came on strong at the end, so that was good. He was definitely gaining, and you see that another 10 meters he would have overtaken Toto for the win. Alright, so time bonuses there. So Wraith into second overall. Good for him. Wachtendorf just misses out on that. And no time split except for after 87th. So no time split there. You can see the profile for stage number two is one very big climb right in the middle. It's seen as a hilly stage as a result. It's a short stage, so if the pace is hot there, I could end up with zero riders by the time we get to the top. If it isn't so bad, if I can get a handful of guys over the top, we can contend for the sprint at the end. So I'll see you at the base of the climb. Just about to the base of the climb, I just got my team water. Even though it's a little bit early, you want to get it around 60k is about how long the bottles last. Uh, but I did not want to be trying to get that as we are on the climb. You can see it's a pretty steep climb. Uh, the pace isn't too hot right now, but it's definitely not an easy pace at the moment. So this could be dangerous for my team. Uh, you can see Wachtendorf on a 75 for a moment there. Uh, went into the blinking red meaning he doesn't have enough pace to keep up you can see some of the guys are already uh, losing a bit on their resistance so uh, I could really struggle to get anyone over the top of this climb Wraith is second overall and he's okay for hills and definitely a strong sprinter so I'm trying to get him over so he's being protected uh, by Harris Harris is a decent sprinter but uh, not such a great climber, so I'm going to use him to shield Wraith, uh, Wachtendorf, and let's see, we need to up this a little bit more. Let's go with 80. Uh, Wachtendorf is okay on hills, so he's being shielded by Gibbons, but they are just going backwards. Come on. You got to stay up there, buddy. They're not managing any pace here. They're already right to the back of the peloton. Uh, further up, uh, Warren the pack is, slowly is uh, shielding Simpson. And these guys, Fuchtendorf and Gibbons aren't going to make it. Harris... He's already getting dropped. Warren, he's going to get dropped. See, he's a decent climber. Anderson's hanging on. Anderson's a 64 and a 63 with good race day condition. Simpson and Wraith are doing just fine. So, 
That's good. Oh, the list of those left behind goes on rising. Now, let's see. Should I get Simpson? Go ahead and protect Wraith. Get in front of him. See if I can't get two guys to the end. Here's Anderson. Anderson's just hanging on. Uh, Warren. Warren's done. Harris is going to be done. Buckendorf, Harris, they're they're now officially dropped. Uh, Warren's still in the peloton. You can see as far back as he is, he's he's in a bit of trouble. Uh, he was shielding someone, so I need to get his work rate up. If he can't make his way back up the field a little bit, here with an 85, he's climb. Oh, just split. There goes Anderson. Anderson's done. So I'm down to two, Simpson and Wraith. Uh, Simpson's hanging on, and he's helping pull Wraith over. Remember, Wraith's in second place. Uh, Simpson, cut him loose. Cut him loose. This climb features some dreadful Wraith's percentages. done. I know he's in second, but he's not. He's already finished. <laughs> and we've got 8k to go, so Simpson's our only hope now. It's a good time to take some food. Just 40 riders left on the front. Simpson's not much of a sprinter, but at least I would have hope of someone making it. Wraith has been dropped. This is the, the worst right here, other than one last little bit, but it does level off around a couple beds here, somewhere right around where the car is right now. The race official. Not quite yet. Simpson's hanging on. Pace isn't so bad. He's a 138. He's actually recovering a bit. So these 38 riders left on the front, and Wraith, Wraith is hanging on. Come on, buddy. Come on. It's gonna it's gonna level off. It's gonna level off. It's gonna level off. Don't lose him now. Don't lose him now. Come on. Nope. There he goes. There he goes. He's coming off the back. Here's where it levels off, but there you go. He's he's gone. Wraith is gone. So just Simpson now. My last hope. Things are leveling off here, so he could recover a little bit. It also means that the pace is picking up. Let's get off that wheel of number 61 there. He looks like he's struggling a little bit. Make your way back up while you can through the field here. Definitely got a few riders moving up and a few riders moving back right now. Pace picked up here as things leveled off a little. So Wraith is done. He's already a minute and a half back. Yeah. And it's time to put these guys all onto auto. Let's see just how far back Gibbon's still in that steeper section. Wraith by himself, 1k to the top. They're not that far back. Simpson, Simpson's gonna make it over the top. So I got one rider, one rider who's made it, which which is good. That's better than nothing. Now it's only a minute to Wraith. He could still potentially catch up. Uh, which would be fantastic. Simpson's over the top. He's in a group of 36 riders. And there's Wraith. Playing catch-up. And they're less than a minute behind now. I'm tempted to risk Simpson to go back and nurse Wraith to the front. Cause again, he's in second overall. But the next stage, stage three, mountain stage. 
It's only like 37, 38K, but the last 15 is all straight up like what we just went through. Okay, they're, they've almost caught him. And Wraith has recovered. Look at that with the downhill. He's recovered. And here comes Anderson. Warren's caught in no man's land. But Anderson's about to catch Wraith. And then they're going to pick up the Peloton. So these 11 riders are going to come back. So it looks like we're going to have 47 at least at the finish. And there you go. They've picked up Wraith. And let's see. Anderson, not much of a sprinter. Anderson, protect Wraith. Ooh, 47 riders now. Okay, it is together. It is together. So, Wraith, we need to make our way towards the front. Speed things up a little bit as he tries to make his way up. There we go. And there's the front of the grid. Here comes Anderson to shield him. And Simpson already looking good. Simpson, not much of a sprinter either. So I've got a three-man train right now for Wraith, for the finish, for another potential podium, maybe a couple more seconds. Warren is got one rider ahead of him, Samparella. Otherwise, it's a pretty big gap. And Warren... Lochtendorf is in, well, a slight split here, but in the chase group. So Warren's still by himself, but it's a long ways back before you're going to get anyone else. So a little false flat here. And Wraith almost recovered now. Put him at a 90. Like Simpson to go a little further forward. I think this is a good time to get him to the front while it's downhill. He's slid back in the group a bit. There we go. That'll have him stay near the front, which is where I want him. Okay, 19k to go. 18k to go. And 16k to go. Alright, so. There are now 40 riders just behind. Wachtendorf and Harris are among them. These guys might actually catch up before the finish, which would give me, well, five, because Warren's, Warren's done. Warren's chasing. Uh, but that gives me a sprint train of five. Possibly. Fachtendorf and Harris come in pretty fresh on that. Uh, you need to shield Fachtendorf. And you need to give it whatever you've got here. At the front. The group is slowly thinning out due to such a frantic pace. There are just 10 kilometers left. They've almost bridged the gap. It's like they're just about to make contact. Okay, he's done. Uh, Lochtendorf, you need to start making your way forward, buddy. There we go. They've made contact. Fachtendorf is moving up. Harris is keeping him shielded. And with that, Wraith is going to follow Vachtendorf. And then Simpson's fresh, so I'm going to have him go... Third or Anderson. Harris is pretty much done, so. Alright, there we go. I've got my guys together. And it's 6k to go, so this is. Warren's, Warren's out of it. Harris, Harris is gonna go first for now, so I'm already gonna put him on. Use his energy gel and let's say a 96. Yeah. Uh, Wraith. It's gonna follow Fachtendorf. Fachtendorf is gonna follow, let's see, Anderson or Simpson. I need a I need a lead out guy. And Harris is not. 
ready. So Anderson, Simpson. Okay, I guess we're following Simpson. That's not a strong lead out man there. And he's gonna follow Anderson and he'll follow Harris. And there's Harris on the attack, Warren. You get free reign. All right, we're formed up and attacking. Anderson's about to take over now. Harris, thank you. Job well done. Okay, Anderson, Simpson, Wachtendorf, and Wraith. And it's already 3K to go, so sprint. And you guys, use your gel now. Whoa, whoa, whoa. They're not all sprinting, are they? Two point one K. Simpson with the lead out. Going full sprint here. The strong men are giving their all. Ooh, I've got a chance here. Alright, uh, what do we have? Garcia. He's got good acceleration, not a great sprint. Montalano, Nurse Toto. So they have all made it in. We're down to 51 riders, so a lot of those guys who caught up got dropped. Uh, Wachtendorf, sprint. And Wraith, we're gonna go another couple hundred meters before you sprint. And there we go, Wachtendorf and Wraith. Wachtendorf looking a little better. There goes Wraith with the speed. He's going to be fourth. No time bonus. So close. Toto goes second. Montalano and Stedman. I don't know. Uh, Stedman's, yeah, another strong sprinter. So Wraith, a little bit worse than those guys, and it showed. Wachtendorf helped pull, but I get fourth and fifth, which is a good result. Uh, but no time bonus in those three, so I'm kind of out of contention for winning this thing. Uh, but that should be good, again, for the sponsor bonus. Uh, Simpson goes 15th, and Anderson down in 19th. Selected the following highlights for you. All right, so fourth and fifth, that puts Wraith in third overall. Toto leading with Stedman second. Wachtendorf is sixth. Count back, he's the leader of all those who haven't picked up a time bonus. And speaking of time bonus, there are 66 riders, even though there are only 31 left at the end. So the second group on the road that got split 4 or 5k out, they ended up giving them the same time as the rest. Uh, so still a pretty large group. Uh, this next stage, though, will definitely shake things up as you can see it's only 33 K and the last about 13 are all uphill to the finish line uh, which I'm not going to be in any sort of contention for that Simpsons definitely my strongest climber so we're gonna see what he can do we'll we'll definitely be shielding him and shielding Wraith and shielding uh, Let's see, my, my third guy, I guess. So here's a climber, Diaz, Garcia, Ochoa. So there's, there's a handful of guys, and then you're getting outside of the climbers almost right away. So we're not far outside of the top 10, but those guys are likely to pull away. Uh, Wraith is going to have a hard time staying in a group. 
Simpson might, but it, I'm definitely not going to contend for the win. Uh, but I'll see you at the base of the climb. Not quite to the base of the climb, but we're already under the 20k to go banner. Uh, there is a breakaway there, 20 seconds ahead, but it's been very difficult as it's been a constant attack, as you would expect in just a 30k race. And I'm having trouble just getting guys to the front. And what I'm finding is uh, trying to shield these guys kind of as they come up in pairs. And Simpson's finally made his way to the front. Uh, but you can see how tired he was just to get to the front of the field. And Anderson's the last one on the attack. And he's actually one of the stronger climbers. So everybody's at a 90. And we're on to the climb. Everybody's pretty tired already. So that first, what, 17, 18, 19K was pretty intense. Wachtendorf is going straight backwards like he did before. Uh, Warren's going backwards. And there's already splits, so set them to a 99. Simpson, why, what, what's going on, Biddy? What's going on? You're my strongest climber. Why are you... What I need to do is actually set everyone to an attack, but 99 is too hard for that. Uh, it needs to be like a 90. So Anderson... Anderson, why don't you shield Wraith? And that's too strong, too strong. Go, that's two -thirds of the race behind us. Just try to stay put. Anderson, ah, oh, Anderson's getting dropped. There goes Simpson making his way through the field. He's the one who's got enough strength to actually climb like a climber. Wachtendorf, Anderson, they've just the been hanging on and now they're dropped. They're the There's 20 point. riders left. Wraith still hanging on at the front. So he's having himself a good little day. He's got a plus four today. Look at that. Plus fives, plus nines. Wraith is looking strong. He's actually recovering right now. And there is Simpson. So Simpson, protect Wraith if you can because Wraith is looking pretty darn good. Uh, that breakaway group has long since been caught. Uh, Simpson's getting dropped, but Wraith is hanging on. Montalano, who did really good before, is, you can see, he's actually pretty strong. He's 11 and a half minutes down overall, but he's definitely gonna be looking for the stage win. I should uh, take position behind him. Garcia, ooh, Garcia's pretty strong too. Okay, we'll take position behind him. 12 riders left is all. Simpson's been dropped. And what I need to be doing here is put all these guys on auto as they are very much on their own now. It's in such percentages that the strongest can create okay, some Wraith, maps. not much left. Let's use that energy gel now. He's in the top 11 with a good ways to go. There's a good distance left to cover here. Uh, but the steepest is behind us. We got a couple minor sections left, uh, but Wraith hanging on here behind Montalano. And that condition, that, that plus four, so helpful. Uh, he's feeling good. He's in the top three overall. There's... I do Watch not out, see the, the race leader. No, he's not here. So what do we got? 16 seconds off. There are just five kilometers left. Okay, these guys are all in that top group of 16 seconds. A small group of are trying to get clear of and the Wraith, Rolano's gone. Take position here. Ooh, 
Uh-oh. Uh, Wraith is in trouble. Wraith is in trouble. Slow it up, slow it up. Nope, there he goes. He's done. And Wraith gets dropped. 3k from the top. Group of three here. Try to recover a little bit. Salvage a little time. Those guys are going to go off and win this thing. How far back is Simpson? Yeah, he's not recovering. Okay, just give it whatever you've got. This climb is feared by many riders. The percentages are very high. There's the 1K banner. Congratulations. He showed determination to add this win. Ochoa gets the win. Diaz takes second. Railanu, who was the uh, one-man breakaway there near the end, takes third. Stedman fourth. Garcia fifth. And they're going to move into the top five of the standings overall. Leon Scaroni... Oh, small chance for 10th. Villanueva's going to get it, though. Wraith's going to take 11th on the stage. Same time. Simpson. Hunting it out for a top 20. He is making his way up. Uh, he's not going to make it to a top 20, I don't think. Oh, he is. He flies through these guys to get 18th. All right. Well, that's top 20 secured. There's Anderson in. There's the next three guys and Gibbons at the back. Gibbons is actually the most well-known rider on the entire team. Pretty comfortable win for Ochoa in the end. But I'll stay in the top 10 in the overall standings. That'll be good for points. As Wraith is ninth. Same in the under 25s. Uh, third in sprint points, and the team is eighth overall. So we've got one stage left to go. It is a sprint stage, so I'll get things set up, and then we'll uh, jump into the end. You can see it's flat. There's one little go. climb, but it's that little it's punchy climb little punchy hasn't happened yet. But there was another the little punchy climb uncategorized just before it. You can see that we just passed. By the end of that climb, the field split. I'm in a breakaway group of 15 riders. Half of them are my team. I'm going to see if I can't set up the attack now. Let's see. Will it work if Wraith tries to follow? Oh, yes. Yes, it will work. So here's what we're going to do. We're going to set up the sprint train now. You can see my team is fairly fresh. The guys that have been working at the front are a little fatigued, but not that bad. We're going to attack now and see if we can't stay away. And then I only have eight riders to compete with. All right, now these guys will go based on fresh. Well, they're all the same. So, Oren's minus two on the day, but a decent sprinter. Simpson. All right, uh, we'll just go right in the order they're at. No, Warren. I don't want to deal with uh, Warren's fatigue. We're gonna have Warren go first. His minus two race day condition. Okay, 
there goes Warren to the front. Anderson's already on him. Simpson, Harris, oh, right in line, just like that. Alright. So we are going to full attack. Uh, Peloton's already caught, but uh, they're not going to be in the strongest of positions. Gonna keep up that tempo and see if we can't get another split or something. Maybe go 96. 95. We're at 19k, so I don't want to push too fast. Simpson's hanging on a bit longer. That's good. Uh, and there you go. Look back at Anderson. You can see the guys are trying to make their way up. They're having trouble with it. Simpson making good pace. Also catching the breakaway. There are a few little punchy spots just before the finish here. Simpson's done. We need to get uh, Harris going. Harris, let's go with a 94 for now until that kicks in. Simpson, good job, buddy. A little too early here. A little too early here. Damage didn't get done effectively, and now the others are benefiting from getting a chance to catch back up. But I'm down to three guys here. And there's still 10k to go. The Peloton has definitely accelerated, meaning that an attack is highly unlikely. There's now just 10 kilometers left. There's the first of those little punchy sections. We got a few still coming. Harris, how far back are you? Can you get your way back towards the front? I would love to have him get back in line between Gibbons and Wachtendorf. Gibbons is technically done. And evolution doesn't seem to favor those in the rear. There's a growing list of riders left behind. There are just five kilometers left. Okay, so Wachtendorf on the attack now. Just the two riders left. And Wachtendorf gonna sprint. He's gonna pull Wraith. Oh, Wraith, and now Wraith go. Wraith in with a chance here. In with a chance. Oh no, he's going to get overtaken right at the line. <laughs> Ran out of energy just before the end, and Ziga Yerman comes from nowhere to overtake Wraith as Wraith was done. I went just a hair too early. Uh, Vachtendorf still manages to get eighth place, so I get another second place in this one. So close to the end. Uh, Gibbons, not bad. Harris, not bad. And there's a pretty big split. That's There's no way these guys should be on the same time, these these next couple of groups. That was a pretty massive sprint. I mean, we're talking about like a minute uh, split. That could shake things up in the standings. As there's only about 30 riders there at the front. 31, it looks like. So let's check out those final overall standings, and then we'll wrap things up. Uh, this will be the end of the first week. This is a bonus episode, episode number two of this new series. I will continue this series every Saturday with a new episode. So be sure to check out next week's episode. And, uh, so close to getting that one. Wraith ran out of energy just a hair too soon. Uh, just about 150 meters, 100 meters before the line. And it was just overtaken. Uh, Toto had the same problem. Toto was beside me, but he was out of juice too. Uh, if Wachtendorf could have gone a little bit later, Wraith probably would have made it to the end. But 
Uh, I lost too many guys trying to take advantage of that split. Uh, let's see, times. Oh, they did split. 30 riders, just 30 riders. Everybody else was a minute behind. So the shakeup. Wraith takes eighth in the final standings. Oshola hangs on to win, but Wraith takes eighth. And Simpson 21st, but that was good for Wraith. Uh, let's see. The overall sprint points, Wraith just two behind Toto. Ochtendorf takes seventh. Nothing in the mountains. Under 25s, Simpson was 10th. And the team, we ended up sixth in the end. So it's a nice little result. Now the last thing to look at here is the team standings. And for the Gaming Decathlon, which this is now one of 10 games within the Gaming Decathlon, the Super Prestige is where it counts. And over the course of the season, 10,000 is the big target. 10,000 is right about achievable. If you divide that by 10, you get 1,000 points, and that's what we're going after is 1,000 points. So uh, the score is divided by 10, and I round down, not up. So even though we're almost to 40, that's three points to start out the game of decathlon. So three points in the first week. It's a long process. It's going to take a while to get where we need to be. Uh, to be competitive down in this continental level and not winning but coming close. I'm not going to get a whole lot of points this season, but you can see that I'm at least picking up points. We'll see if I can't improve my status for next year. But that's going to do it for this episode. I'm Decathlon Gamer, and remember, I'm aiming for the best of the best. So if you're ready to join me on my journey, hit subscribe and tune in next time on my road to the record. Bye for now.